it seems to me that the bottom line is if art is produced honestly, then it has meaning and, and value. The ready-mades, uh, Duchamp's ready-mades taught us that, well, it's art if the maker claims that it's art. But I would say in a more practical sense, I spent many years probing ultra-thin uh, nano-electronic materials uh, as a global uh, endeavor to really continue this, stay ahead of the rapid pace of Moore's Law for uh, miniaturization of electronic devices and I can tell you that's art that's you know an amazing um, uh, accomplishment uh, under extreme pressure it involves a, an awful lot of people with extremely complex uh, apparatus and it really requires a, a suite of measurements to try to make sense uh, when you analyze the data to try to keep moving forward and keep uh, making progress, that's, that's an artistic endeavor entirely. The truth, I think, that uh, is what is so powerful and rewarding about science is now under attack, where people are challenging valid, honest, truthful data for political means. This is in the category of criminal stupidity because there are consequences. We know this. We have a, a good fossil record of when any species swarms the planet, changes the composition of the atmosphere and the oceans by, uh, with a byproduct of their energy consumption, life changes on the planet. And that's, what, that's exactly what humans are doing now. It's just simply a matter, a matter of being accountable for your own behavior. The argument isn't put forth. Why not stand up and be an adult and take responsibility? Don't pollute for your energy consumption. That simple thing, and we can all live happily ever after. I just don't get the, this impenetrable layer of ignorance that can't be persuaded with facts and truth. That's, that's a new scary thing that uh, is an embarrassment to the species.